Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your laptop DVD drive. So let's get started. So in my case, the DVD drive on this laptop is fried. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't read properly. It doesn't write properly. It's completely busted. Um, so what I did, I grabbed another DVD drive from another laptop, an HP I believe. I pull up the old one and I'm going to be swapping it into this this Dell laptop. Another thing you might want to note is if you're doing what I'm doing, you're putting in a different um, a different DVD drive than the original one on the laptop right here. So this is a different one. Uh, it might not fit properly. And what I mean by this, there might be some gaps, might be a hole. If you if you really care about aesthetics, you're going to want to order the same DVD drive. But in my case, I don't want to order one. I don't really care about how it looks as long as it works. So I'm just going to be putting this in. You'll see what I mean by it doesn't fit properly. You're going to have to find the bolt that's holding in the DVD drive. This laptop is really easy because it's right under the RAM cover. You don't actually have to take apart too much of the laptop to do this. But always find a video or find another way first to see how to disassemble your laptop. Because then it's different for every laptop. So just pry this open. There we go. And there are screws right here. Let's see? There. That little screw right there is holding the DVD drive. So now that the screw is out, it's right here, you can just pull out the DVD drive. So you might notice they look the same, which is good. The ports on the back are the same, but one difference are these mounting brackets right here and right here. You can see the one on the left, the mounting bracket is really far on the right side, while this one, the working one, which I'm going to be swapping in, the mounting bracket is in the middle, right here. So what, you, what you're what you going to need to do, you're going to have to swap them around. You see there are holes on both of them, right here, here, and here where you can um, take out the old brackets and swap them around. A quick tip, before you insert the the right one, the working drive into the laptop, you might want to copy down the model number because you might have to install the drivers for this DVD drive for the laptop to use it. To install it, it's literally a reverse process of taking it out. So just turn the laptop around like this. Now right here you'll see what I mean by it might not fit properly. Uh, I push it all the way. There's a there's a huge gap, but the the bracket does line up here. You see, I pulled out. You can see it slides around, so it does line up properly, and that's all that really matters. So now it's just a matter of putting the screw back in the hole. Really important too. Make sure you replace the cover if you took it off. So I can see my laptop, nice, it looks nice, and then you look at this side and you're like, what the, why does it not fit properly? But to be honest, in my opinion, I think it's more important to have a working DVD burner that doesn't fit properly than one that fits properly but doesn't work at all. So I think this is a pretty good trade-off. I mean, it looks a little weird, but it's it's in there, it's not going to slide out. and. It feels a little weird when you carry it, but you get used to it. But yeah, I'd rather it look like this and work.